May your raps be flowing. May your rants be going. <laughs> May your lawn be mowing. May your ice be snowing. May our love be showing. <laughs> Good that they, yeah, they didn't, they didn't sit anybody down in the VIP, the tuba section. Oh, really? Are there, these are more expensive down here. Sure. All right. For podcast yeah. listeners, we are in a room that, uh, uh, for, for the sake of description, it, it feel, it, 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 it's like a, it's like a beautiful, like kind of expensive beech wood thrust has been placed <laughs> in the middle of a driver's ed class. <laughs> Uh, and there's a there's like an orchestra pit with VIP booths that our uh, our nerdy audience could not afford to sit in. <laughs> well, that means I should I should probably. <laughs> I don't know. If I, this will put me out of the light, right? I'll be in the dark. For the listeners, uh, this club has a runway. Yeah, I, I just moved down the thrust. It's like a runway. It's like a Katy Perry uh, concert. Um, <laughs> Hello, Kansas City. We're, we, 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 have a, we, have a, we have a limited time here at, at the uh, 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 strip mall. We got to, uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's another show coming out next. Uh, um, how, how many of you are from Kansas City? How, uh, and then, so that means the rest of you like traveled. Uh, how, how, who, who drove the farthest? Omaha. I heard Omaha. Tulsa. Is Tulsa further than Omaha? Three hours. All right, Tulsa's got, got us beat. I realize that's a tough spot that I put you in when I'm like, 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 who, who drove the furthest? There's like an unspoken edge to that question. Like, 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 like who's, who lives with their mom the most? Uh, but I, 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 I thank, thank you so much for anybody that, that, that came even five minutes, even if you walked here, even if, even if you were forced to be here, thank you for being here. Um, uh, uh, did everybody eat at that dinosaur place? The, uh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty badass. Like I, 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 I couldn't believe how high I forgot to get before I, I, I ate there. Like it's, I, I kept wondering. Like, 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 I know a lot of people like probably smoke a lot of pot and go to the dinosaur place, and, and probably so a lot of people probably take mushrooms and go to the dinosaur place. But I kept wondering, like, does anyone ever do coke here? Like, 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 at, like a, at like a, an, a, an executive luncheon. Like, does anybody like meet in the uh, in the in the bathroom there and kind of like. Do a bump under a stegosaurus oh, yeah? tail, or? Hey, hey, Dan. Yes, Aaron. Stay, stay on that thought. Oh shit! Oh shit! Rapping about coke. Oh shit! Oh, runway. Rap to the titty. Rap Kansas City. Rap. Rap to your mama. Rap all about that. Fuck your mama north. Fuck your mama south. Kansas City north south. Half of it is in Missouri. Half your mama is out to jury. Half your mama's been voted back. Half your mama is hooked on crack. Half of it is in the state of Kansas. Half your mama took down my pants. Suck my dick, lick my nuts, fingered my nose, put it in my butt. So I had a booger in my butt. It was gross. It was gross. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I, I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm, if I'm supposed to be distracted by this or not, but I keep imagining the show from the perspective of the people that work here. Uh, you guys don't seem like regular clients of this particular place, and they don't see like, like I keep wondering, I keep putting myself in their shoes and going, what is he, what is what is a podcast? What is this show? What is going on? It was, it was they put it on the door that it's a it's a nationally televised podcast. Nationally televised. <laughs> Funny on, on two levels. Yeah. Not um, televised, not just national. So the, they, 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 they gotta be confused right now. 
Uh, but I, 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 can I, can I ask this question? Like, mo, I know like 60 of you bought tickets online, which I assume means 60 of you listen to the podcast. How, how many of you by applause are in that other category of people that wandered in here wondering uh, what kind of comedy they are? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like this back wall. <laughs> There's like a tear, there's, there's like a pit, there's a pit of nerds, uh, and, then there's, and then there's a Sesame Street brick wall <laughs> with, with comics that are doing the next show and, and people from Kansas City. Uh, but welcome, welcome. We welcome, welcome. you I hope here. you like live stacks on stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how we close our show. <laughs> so I, I don't understand, is there, is there anybody that, that works in uh, local government here that can explain how the... Isn't your your city split down the middle, and half of it's in one state, and half of it's in the other? So, like, like what I, I, is there anybody that, that that is kind of like a expert on how that works, and why, like, that wants to come up and explain that to me? Or we don't. Oh yeah, yeah. You just you just hate it. You're just beleaguered by the civil war that is happening in, in Kansas City. All right, fine. I don't. Guess what? I don't care. I pretended to care for a second. I don't care that your city split down the middle between two states. I grew up thinking that there were two Kansas cities, that that's why there was a Kansas City, Missouri, and a Kansas City, Kansas. I thought that there was actually just two places called Kansas City. Yeah. Yes. And I found out, I think today, that, um, oh, okay, there's a, yeah. So, all right, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of tension between the halves of the cities. And what I've done is I've made the mistake of calling it one city, I should call it two. You guys are the separatists. You're the you're the people who believe that the other Kansas City uh, should 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 get up and walk away. And mo most of you drove from Omaha. Okay. No one cares. Um, how's, how's Nebraska? Boo. Oh. Boo. Everybody hates where they're from. Nobody. Everybody. Everybody wants to be a hero. Everybody wants to just go away and uh, kill themselves or. <laughs> Like a rescue a family of orphans from a fire. No one, no one, no one wants to just be where they're from. And like nobody, nobody out in the audience is waving a giant foam finger for anything. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I want, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried tonight that because I was looking at my story circle. For those of you who are familiar with that, for the, for the back row, um, I'm. I'm only famous for making a TV show that I got fired off of, <laughs> and then just barely. There were only only three million people watched that, so that and I'm famous for getting fired off of it. And then uh, I, in the, during the time that I was making it, I, I, this story circle that I had developed years ago kind of came to light like this. And I'm kind of obsessed with it, like what makes a story and stuff. And we're doing this tour documentary about the show, about me going on the road, talking about nothing, uh, and not having an act, and. Uh, um, and, and I'm, I'm kind of, I've been placing myself on this circle. And the, the truth of the matter is that on my circle, on my story circle, according to my arithmetic, tonight is, is, represents a horrible death. Like, like there, <laughs> tonight is a night of horrible, like, like something bad is going to happen. You, something bad's already happening. Yes, thank you, comics. <laughs> I, I understand that compared to what, what you do, this is already death, like that you would have already gone, okay, I did a bad job, I'm fired, but podcasting is different, it's different. It's, it's more like NPR. Uh, uh, it's not, you know, you know, if, uh, you know it's a, if 20 minutes of silence goes by, it might be, it might be a captivating. It, maybe it's not hilarious. Sure. Also, this room is more brightly lit than anywhere I've ever been in my entire life. You see, <laughs> if the show goes poorly, it won't be a secret. <laughs> Everyone's face. I am able to make Hello, eye contact with a with beautiful uh, uh, spearmint scarf over there. I like that. Also, the cloud uh, tie dye in the back. I like that. You can see all the colors. That's how I'm demonstrating how bright it is. Yeah. We don't. We don't. Yeah. I got, we can see the. We can see the ghost of, uh, of, of of impending doom hanging over us, standing in the back, shaking his head, giving a thumbs down. We can. We can see all the way. We don't like it when we can see uh, nothing. I mean, that's no good either. Um, but anyways, uh, what was I talking about, Aaron? Can you? You were talking about death, right? <laughs> oh, okay, death. Yeah. <laughs> yo, 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 rapping, rapping about death. Hold your breath. Gonna go six feet under. Fuck your mama. Like I was a blundering, <laughs> looking where to put my dick. Couldn't find a place. Picked a hickory stick instead of my penis. 
fucked your mama like Dukes of Hazzard's Enos. It was a character from the 80s. I fucked your mama like she was just another lady, but she wasn't. Her ass was fine. I fucked your mama down the county line. I got Roscoe Coltrane going, go, 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 fuck his mama, do, do, do. All right. Uh, yeah. For, 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 for the guys in the back who don't know what the show is, that, that's not part of the show. <laughs> we're only doing that because we're in Kansas City. We, uh, we heard you like barbecue and freestyle rapping. Uh, and so we're just doing it to make you comfortable. These, these, these guys are like, what's he doing? Why is he doing that? He's selling out the show. Stop rapping about Enos. Uh, a couple Dukes of Hazard references in there. I apologize. Everyone's 25. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, there was a movie. Maybe you can Google it. Uh, death. Uh, tonight is going to ha it's going to happen. You're going to witness a transformation, hopefully. Uh, we're, 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 I think it's going to come at the hands of Spencer, because I was thinking about it. We should bring him up here, Spencer. Spencer, let's can you come out? Spencer to the stage. City. Right. Yeah. Spencer, this was your first hair down show. My first what? Oh, yeah. First, first show with your hair down. Yeah, like Jesus. Yeah, or like party Jesus. You're you're letting it all you're letting it loose for Kansas City. Fat frat boy Jesus. No. Gonna die on stage. Uh, uh, for 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 you guys in the back, Spencer is the podcast's dungeon master. Sold you yet? Sold you yet? Sound a little more marketable? We have a dungeon master. We play Dungeons and Dragons on the show. Uh, the uh, uh, Spencer, I'm, I'm starting to think, in accordance with my story model, he is the hero of the uh, of the tour, because unlike me, he is actually going through changes, aren't you, Spencer? Yeah, yeah. I hit puberty a couple of days ago. <laughs> it was. It came on fast. Yeah. Um, the uh, it, it, but you have been whisked across a threshold by a horrible wealthy fat guy and stuck in a tour bus of the, that he rented so he could go out and masturbate on stage, and you yourself are experiencing new things and adapting and changing, and I'm we're almost done with the tour and I haven't changed in any way. So it occurred to me this morning that I must be the villain and Spencer must be the hero, which means that Spencer must die. <laughs> or that I must die. And that must either happen in Dungeons and Dragons or it will happen like just in the show. So Spencer, like, let me have it. Fucking lay waste to me. Uh, what? Like, that's not... Undo me at the seams. Like, tell me, tell me what my problem is. Tell me why I'm a piece of shit. You tell want me... to know what your problem is... You're so generous that you bought me a Dave and Buster's card. But it was only for 30, all right. That was the, that was the false, false death gone. But so, what's, okay, so when you come to the ticket window, do they go, okay, your seat's in the room, but do you want it to be in the front because that'll cost $5 extra? What, what? $10 no, no, extra. And do, well, do, 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 they, do, they, do they offer it, or that was just offered online and you just didn't check the box that said, I would like the luxury Coke booth? It says it's VIP. All right. I feel that important. It's such wasted space. Like, I wanna... Is it possible to have just one person in each of these booths? <laughs> let's, let's would pick, that let, be weird? Let's pick some VIPs. VIPs? Okay. We got a VIP there. We got a, a little like VIP music. <laughs> You and, came to uh, Hyman Town and you thought that you Well, wait, we don't, want, we don't want to separate couples. Like, you look like you came here by yourself, no offense. Are you single? I want a booth alone. To Can you come up here first town? and talk? Would you be willing to come up and talk to us first? Uh, yeah, we, don't, sure. we, don't, we don't bully anybody at Hyman Town. Can I help you up? Yeah, sure. We don't, uh, we don't, we don't, we don't bring people up to pick on them. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Kyle. 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 Are you, are you one, you, so you're, are you one of the people that, that you're, you're not familiar with the podcast? Oh, no. Oh, you, oh, you are okay. Yeah. All right, but uh, no. And so, and so, so you, now I have to go. No, 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 no. You, uh, you came here by yourself? Yeah, uh, I couldn't uh, get my wife to come after she listened. Uh, oh, <laughs> I know I shouldn't. Have let her, I should not have let her listen. No, what, no, no. what did your What episode did your wife listen to? Um, it was uh, Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't, yeah. It, was, it wasn't our relationship. No, that made her... no, no. She might have come if she'd heard that part. 
What didn't she? Well, tell us the exact point where she uh, said she didn't like the fucky mama raps. Uh, what's what's your what's your what's her name? Uh, April. April. More like April. <laughs> Check it. <laughs> yo 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 yo. April, heard you don't like my show. I fucked your mama, and here's how it goes. What's your mom's name? Pat. I fucked your mama, Pat. I fucked her so hard she started to ignore she's fat. Flattened her out like she was a pancake. Fucked your, fucked Pat and gave her man cake batter. On her face. I fucked Pat so hard she turned into a different race. Genetically altered. <laughs> fucked her till my dick faltered. Sorry. Sorry. No, okay, well, no, no, sweetie, please. No, sweet, I meant... No, no, I said stop. It's okay. Again? A no, 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 sweetie, please. I fucked Pat. I fucked Pat. Yeah, he's done. I fucked Pat. Outro? Good. Thanks for coming. No, no, sweetie, no. No, for God's sake. We just got to know Kyle. Okay. All right. Here comes the April monster. We heard the fog. Oh, yeah. All right, Kyle. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, can you do the April monster? Uh... You hear the sounds of far off showers. <laughs> April approaches with a steady foot and clever hand. You're sure that uh, May flowers are soon to follow. All right, great. All right, Kyle, why don't you, you sit in the VIP booth to oh, the right? I assume you should keep it like clean and set up for. That Can they don't make them don't don't make them mad like like no. don't 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 get popcorn everywhere. Or Dan, anything. should we reserve the VIP section for people who weren't able to get their friends to come because they don't like the show? Yes, yes, exactly. Is there anyone else who had to come alone because everyone but them hates the thing? Let's start for, let's start from the back because uh, wait no 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 it'll be okay. What's your name, sir? Tim. Tim, come on come on up. This is Tim song. <laughs> You're what, you're, you're, are you okay coming up and talking to us? Yeah. Okay, come on up, Tim. Tim uh, knows what's up. Okay, Tim, uh, you're from Kansas City, or? I moved here in May, so. Okay. Kind of. you, why'd you move? I got a job here. Oh, what, where were you before that? I was in college. Okay, so you got, so, <laughs> what'd you go At to? At Planet College, or <laughs> in, a, in a location? <laughs> where, 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 did, where, where were you going to college? At the University of Missouri in Columbia. Yeah. Alright, alright, so okay. obviously, obviously I've so walked sorry. into something. Now I understand why you didn't say anything. Alright. <laughs> it's a big deal. It's, it, 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 it seems like it, alright. We so, love everyone in Harmontown. <laughs> it's, I, I'm starting to think that, 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 that really giving these guys the time of their lives would just talk shit about Missouri all night. <laughs> but but yeah. you, would, you would know that I didn't mean it. Like I would just be wandering into this like conflict you're having. And it, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's from my perspective, as the wandering hero, it's a Lilliputian conflict. It doesn't—I don't know what it means. It's like we, we cracked the egg on the right better, time. It, it seems adorable. I do like it. I wish I wish I had something like that with the. Uh... The Kansas City, Missouri, the Kansas Missouri feud does start at the Civil War, which oh. is the favorite of Harmontown. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been yeah. talking about the Civil War a lot on this tour. All right, it was it was it was Ken? Is that it? Tim? Tim? That's yeah. close enough on my part. All right, you want to take the VIP booth to the left, please? And please keep it clean. Don't. So we got Tim and Kyle. Is anyone right? else All deserve right. to be a VIP? Do you, do you guys feel? Does this feel nice? Is it, is it comfortable? <laughs> how, how much more would you pay for this booth? Oh, okay, you can't put a price on it. Well, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't buy the fucking booth. You guys were offered it. You, you cheaped out, but you're getting a taste because you came here alone. If we put a whole family in these booths, then we'd be stealing money from the venue. But because you're alone, you won't be able to share it with anybody, so it's like it didn't happen. For the listener, we've said this already, but there are four booths that seem like the only seats in the entire... Yeah, but mathematically, if we, if, we, if we take that time to put one person in each booth, then we have to leave. Then that's the show. <laughs> Like we only have a, a certain amount of time up there, so I say we stick with. T I like Tim and Kyle, like like they're kind of like Statler and Waldorf, or um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, but so was the Hindenburg. Uh, uh, all right, all right. So we got some buddies up here. They're VIPs. It's good to go. see VIPs at the show. That's good. Um, uh, let's see. 
Um, all right, who, who is in the most pain tonight? Like, like, like the most devastating, maybe not physical, maybe emotional. Um, <laughs> I just saw a woman let's shake her head no. <laughs> That, that's and that's a that's that's her right. Uh, all right, what's what's what, you want to come up here to, uh, and share oh, your pain? I, I just quit smoking. Oh, you just quit smoking. It's hard. I quit smoking eight years ago. I used to smoke two packs a day. Do you do you want me to hypnotize you? <laughs> yeah, come on down. Did, did, did it help? Okay, Let, let's let's can we find some cosmic music? Oh no, we we don't have any, do we? Go, do we, or is there is there is there a woman in the audience who who uh, thinks she can pull off a reasonable Enya? <laughs> A reasonable, copyright-free... There's, there's a guy raising his hand. Yeah, okay, let's funny. bring him up. <laughs> it's, it, it, this is exactly how I dressed on prom night, but I, I wasn't going anywhere. I'm, I'm Jeff's understudy. You're Je Jeff Davis' yeah, understudy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Ryan. You look like John Cryer in Hiding Out. Okay. Like, like, like. I get, I get uh, uh, Matthew Broderick a lot. Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's a little, little, little Crier, a little, little Broderick. Yeah. All, all Jeff Davis. All Jeff Davis. Oh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Did we get your name? Ryan, yeah. Ryan, okay. Yep. Yep. All right, do, can we give him a special mic? Right. Special Enya yeah. mic? All right. There you go. Thank and thank your name you. was, I forgot already? Nope. <laughs> Ian? Yeah. Okay. Uh, were you hoping that smoke would come out? And... <laughs> All right, we're gonna, Ian. We're gonna take you now. You just, you just, you just sit right there and just, and just let. You're just gonna. We're, you're never gonna smoke again after this. Okay. You do whatever, do whatever you like. Okay. I need, I need. If, if there's anyone, I'm not gonna hold my breath. But if anyone's controlling the house lights, we need to bring them down a little bit. Okay. I didn't. Yeah. I, I, no, I, we're again. on the face of the sun, and no one is paying attention to the show. <laughs> <laughs> we're, I, uh, <laughs> we're, la we're, we're uh, Lashkey kids. Yeah. We're. Uh, all right. So maybe just give just, him some hot pockets and a and a five dollar bill. Maybe just maybe just close your eyes, and uh, uh, sh Ryan. Yeah. Okay. Start start and Yang, but in a copyright free way. Okay. All right. Too many lyrics. Too many lyrics. I just need just, just need like tones. Oh, just you, like meditative maybe, well, tones. Well, maybe may I suggest something because yeah, he's yeah. he's dressed like Jeff Davis. Okay. okay. And he's he's dressed like his understudy. Can we just switch places? I can be the audience yeah. volunteer. And, and and I'll, I'll wanna, do some Oh, tones. you want to come control? Okay. And he can control. come control. All right. Okay. All right. That's good, Aaron. Thank you. That's smart thinking. That's good controlling. Th realizing that he, of course, John Cryer should be controlling, and you should be the woman. Well, that sounds. So Jan sexist. says to me all the time, yeah, yeah. Aaron, "You should the, be the woman." Of, of course, I, sh I should be eating ice cream, and you should be the woman. <laughs> meaning, give me a spoon. Um, the, uh, okay, so John Cryer, you take it easy for a second. Aaron, you start taking us on a cosmic journey. Where? Everyone else, lower the house lights in your mind. <laughs> Um, and uh, I mean, literally, no one is paying attention. We're to gonna help. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. We had, yeah, we had nice. some go out. And this is to help. God damn it, Ryan, was it? What was your name? Ken. Yeah. Ian. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I've met a lot of people. All right. <laughs> you know what? Uh, they, they, they wouldn't. They wouldn't ride my ass like this in Missouri. <laughs> wow. So, so just be careful. Because you might wake up with a different different label on you. You know, they could switch to the sides of the city like that overnight. All right. Ian. Ian. You are losing control of your body. Not in a poopy way. You're just drifting. Your consciousness is drifting out of your corporeal frame. You are rising, Ian, into the reaches of space. Ian. There's a giant cigarette in front of you. You reach for it. Scorpions run out of it. Up your hand. No sound effects. I, I don't sorry. But now, well, you don't have to be sorry. Just, okay. just don't do it again. Sorry, Ian. Try to relax. There are scorpions crawling up your arm. The largest of them, the mother, crawls over your ear at which point the babies on her underbelly, all eight million of them, go into your inner ear canal <laughs> and lay eggs in your brain. That's right, baby scorpions lay eggs only in a smoker's brain. Now they're hatching, Ian. Your brain is all scorpions. You return to Earth craving nicotine. 
bent on a murderous spree. You sting your family, you sting your friends, you sting everyone. It's a metaphor for secondhand smoke. <laughs> but now, Ian, now, now you come to a giant apple pie and you climb inside it and you eat the whole thing because you quit smoking. And every time you quit smoking, you get a giant apple pie. <laughs> Ryan? Yep. Ian? No, Ian, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ian? There's a monster truck coming up the street to the apple pie. It pulls up outside the apple pie. Hulk Hogan gets out. He gives you one of his patented Hulk Hogan hand, hand gestures. So you can tell he, you can tell you're cool with him now. He doesn't smoke either. Did he die? Did Hulk Hogan die? No, he's alive. He's okay, alive. all right. That's cool. If he died, he's a ghost. And it's still cool. It's a scandal and a sex scandal, okay. but he's fine. All right. You take Hulk Hogan by the hand, and you go into a field, Ian, and you play frisbee. And he takes you to a water fountain, and you drink cool, fresh, refreshing water with Hulk Hogan. And then you notice, as you're drinking, that he's touching you. But you don't care, because you look around and you see from a nearby uh, a calendar sculpture that it's the year 2080, and uh, homosexuality is not taboo anymore. <laughs> it's a hologram statue. It's designed so that you can look at it from any angle, so it's not coincidence that you see it. It's not bad story writing on my part. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, just, it's just how it works. You're in the year 2080, and, and Hulk Hogan is rubbing your crotch as you drink cool water. Your belly's full of apple pie, and you have an orgasm. Uh, now wake up! Oh. Do you want a cigarette, Ian? Fuck yeah! All right. Well, pretend he said no. Yeah. You want one, but you know that baby scorpions are gonna lay eggs in your brain. All right. I'm glad I could help, Ian. Spencer, what, 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 how are we doing on time? Do we have to play Dungeons and Dragons? Oh shit! I'm sorry. I, I, should, I should be asking Ryan. Uh, it's Six thirty-four. So. Uh, Six thirty-four. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, what you're realizing now is that we have not been up here for very long. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, usually, usually time goes so much faster. I don't know why. It's, uh, Ryan, Ryan, uh, if if you could have anything, well, I mean, what do you what do you want? What is your dream? What's my dream? Um, I I actually want to. Uh, I want to do stand-up comedy, and I want to uh, do. Uh, I want to be a writer for TV, actually. So that's, All right. that's why I'm here. Do you do you do you have a uh, do you have a strong two minutes, uh, uh, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can do two. Do you want to you want to you want to come out in the thrust and do them to an audience of Kansas right. City Comics? <laughs> Here, I'll do I'll do you the favor. I'll do, I'll give you I'll, I'll give you a horrible opener so that the bar is lowered for you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nickelbackers. <laughs> Please remember, Rob Schneider will be here next week, the star of Sheep's, Sheep's a Heaven. Uh, uh, and on all next week, it's ladies' night. All the ladies get to be ladies. You don't get anything for free. Just We just won't punch you. You don't, you don't have to boo that. Uh, it's not, it's not, we're not proud of our policies here, ma'am, at Nickelbackers. Uh, now, now coming to the stage, the uh, opener for, t for tonight's act. It's not you, Ryan. It's just a different guy. Schmegel Flangerham! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You ever notice that Chinese people are inferior? Whoa! What are they eating? Why are they eating it? Whoa! Hey, come on now. What you talking about? Knock, knock. Who's there? You're, fuck you. I'm racist. Whoa! I got AIDS in my blood. I'm spraying it on the audience. Oh, it's, a, it's like Gallagher, but you got AIDS now. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I'd like to settle it down for a minute and tell you about my wife, uh, Veronica. She's struggling with breast cancer, and uh, there's a table of T-shirts in the back. I'd really like you to buy them. Uh, Oh, thank you very much. I've received a note that all your cars have been stolen, uh, and, uh, and, and, and wherever they are, there's people sleeping in them. Um, 
but the people sleeping in them have, are covered with little tiny uh, uh, spikes uh, filled with poison. Uh, so let them be, and uh, and then uh, you you you, uh, you you'll, you'll be okay. And you just need a new car, and uh, all your lives are ruined. Also, you have AIDS. Um, all right. Well, I, I guess I did pretty poorly with my stand-up act, but uh, we're gonna bring a new guy to the stage. He's gonna do two strong minutes of of, of stand-up because he is a he's a well-respected stand-up comic. He's performed at clubs and colleges all over the thing of about. Please welcome Ryan Solomon. Hey guys, thanks for coming out here. Uh, you look great. Uh, I don't know about you guys, uh, every time I see Channing Tatum in a movie, all I can think is how much better Ryan Gosling would have been. <laughs> and every time I kiss my wife, all I can think is how much better Ryan Gosling would have been. <laughs> and when I say that, uh, people usually ask me, and by people I mean my wife, Ryan, do you mean you can't help but think of how much better Ryan Gosling would have been at kissing you? Or how much better Ryan Gosling would have been at, at kissing your wife? And the answer is either. <laughs> Both. In an ideal world, my wife and I would never kiss each other. We'd just be two Ryan Goslings <laughs> sharing a tender embrace. Uh, I don't, have you guys ever done something horrible? Like, just so bad you just never wanted to tell anybody? No, good. You're perfect. Thank you. Uh, well, for the rest of you, uh, you should do something like terrible you just don't want to even bring up again. Like, like you're messing around with some friends in the woods and you push one and he, he falls and he, he breaks his nose and there's so much blood that you just run away. That, that didn't happen. Um, or maybe like in, in college, uh, a bunch of girls run into your dorm room and like, steal a bunch of your stuff. So uh, to get them back, you take one of the flashlights that you're buying from one of them and you just take a shit in it. And then you give it to her. And then like a, a couple of years later, you just go ahead and you marry her. <laughs> yeah, that did happen. That did happen. Uh, several years ago, I was going on a, a, a mission trip for the church when I was in high school. And uh, we were uh, gonna help uh, just some people in West Virginia. And uh, a few months prior, a woman had tragically lost her son, a very young son, uh, in a car accident. And uh, she, uh, he, he, the weeks before it happened, he saw, he kept saying that he saw a bunny in the yard and his, and his mom never saw it. Uh, and after the horrible event, uh, she got this package and a statue of a bunny. Uh, and it wasn't, it didn't say who it was from. So she was like very confused. She was very, it's like, where did this come from? And while we were on the trip, after a particularly rowdy night at a pizza place, we were riding back to where we were staying and uh, the bus stopped. And I was like, why? Why is the bus stopping? And it turns out there was a bunny in the middle of the road and it wouldn't move. And I couldn't understand why it wouldn't move. Uh, but most people on the bus understood the significance of this bunny and this poor woman who went through something that no parent should ever have to go through. Most, most people on the bus realized the significance. Almost everybody knew what was going on. Some people just wanted to go back to where we were staying. Some people uh, just all hopped up on root beer and pizza, didn't really know uh, what was going on, why a bunny was stopping us. Some people started to chant, or maybe one person decided to chant, or more like just yell, run it over, run it over, run it over. Oh, shit. Do you think she heard me? <laughs> And I never looked her in the eyes again. That was the end of the, that was the worst thing I ever did. So thank you very much, guys. Ryan Sullivan, everybody! Oh, don't forget, I'm racist. Thank Could you, Ryan Sullivan. Could be worse. Ryan Sullivan, we'll talk about you after years. <laughs> Ryan Sullivan. Ryan Sullivan, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your eyes out for that kid. You can sit in a VIP seat, Ryan. Yeah, sit in a, sit in a VIP booth if you want. For a second, I was like, oh, who's going to stop the music? <laughs> then I realized. Spencer, tell me my biggest flaw. Take my fucking head off, man. You're, I can't, man. You're like my hero. My shoes? Yeah, they're untied, bro. Oh. I don't, yeah. That's no, your is flaw. That, is that just the drunk lady in the back? Is that, OK. That's uh, fine. Can we, can we talk about Ryan really quick? You don't have enough vodka. You want to talk? Yeah, well, that's well, that is my biggest flaw. Okay, well. somebody, somebody top me off. It's a it's, it's mass hysteria up here. Uh, I need more ice first, but that's fine. 
All right. Uh, death is the theme of tonight's show in Kansas City. <laughs> I I uh, I really liked Ryan's uh, Ryan Gosling joke. I, I I correct me if I'm wrong, audience, but it seemed like you guys were were really ready to uh, not like anything Ryan does. No, that's not true. They they were. No. Don't, no. Oh well, fine, fine, that's good. Don't no, I I expected bigger bigger laughs. Don't make us throw funny. Ryan under the bus. Uh, no. j j his I, his I, Ryan I Gosling joke worked, and then the, and then and then it had too many taglines, and then he had that big long conceptual thing with the rabbit. And uh, okay. Okay. He lost us, and I Ryan, I'm 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 standing up here fucking crucified on Golgotha. Like I'm not <laughs> I, I am not uh, I'm not. It's, don't do not let that hurt your feelings at all. No, uh, I, can we hear it again for Ryan? That was very brave, man. Great. Yeah. It was really great. Yeah, really good. Uh, <clears throat> it, was, it was weird that you attacked Ryan for, uh, for, 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 for his, his jokes, Aaron. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I meant to do. I wasn't really talking right. I, I, mis I misunderstood the audience. I'm sorry. It's these lights, guys. I always felt most traumatized on the playground whenever people would stick up for me. That's always when I would start to cry. As I, I know you're my audience, so I know some of you know what it's like to get picked on on the playground. <laughs> Uh, it, would, it would never make me cry to get picked on. Like people would bully me, you know, they go, uh, the, you know, give you face washes in the snow, swirlies in the toilet, and Melvins in the in the hoo ha, and the, uh, you know, just punch you and ask you why why don't you shower? Why do you drop your pants all the way to the floor when you take a pee at the urinal? Like what? Uh, why are there skid marks in your underwear when you do that? Why do you why do you eat paste? Why do you think a glue bottle is a rocket? Why is your why is your hair full of full of full of dandruff and grease and 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 and, and socket well, rinses? Well, I, I understand. Just to clarify, I wasn't sticking up for Ryan. I just wanted to give him extra credit. Where but then due. it would always be the people that would come up like in the midst of it. Well, somebody was like picking on me because that would just make me gird my loins. I would just go like, okay, this is the way life is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the shields up. I'm going to be a porcupine. I'm going to like, like, like this pain. I'll get numb to it. And then some well-meaning fucker would come up and go like, hey, leave him alone, man. Just because he's all fucked up and dirty and greasy and shitty and doesn't fit in, he doesn't have to be a normal person to, for you to like him, okay? He's, maybe he's special. Maybe, he has, maybe he's so fucked up that something really weird about him is good. You don't know. I mean, may, may, maybe some really specific situation will happen, uh, uh, like, like, like a flood of chemicals that only freaks can breathe. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe bat creatures will attack that have a, have a, have a weird-shaped face that, 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 that are like vulnerable to fucking gross, stinky nerds, and then uh, he'll be a hero then. And then I would always start crying, because that's the guy that likes me. Uh, like, like sticking up for me, and then, and then the guy, and when I would start crying, and then the bully, the the, the nerd protector would go like, uh, you know, come on, see, now he's crying. You're you're a bad person. Don't pick on people. You shouldn't pick on people that are gross, stinky, shitty nerds. Well, Ryan, just so you know, that's not what I was doing. Now it's kind of what Dan's doing because he qualified it that way. No, but no, no, I, no. I, I was just I was just offering you. Uh, Oh, I, Ryan, you're my, you, 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 and I are fucking square. I, I'm, I also, Aaron, I was just kidding. I didn't think you were doing anything wrong. I, uh, Jesus Christ, have we learned one thing in Kansas City? If not, that uh, we all must go through a valley of darkness. <laughs> the, 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 the beef, beef, a valley of beef. <laughs> I've got VIPs up here now. I can't remember which are which. Yeah, got, can, we, can we check in with, Ken, our, uh, with our Wallace and Gromit? Tim, Kyle, Tim. Ryan. Kyle. What is it? How come people can't be named like banana, uh, <laughs> like, 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 like terrier? Like, like, how come you can't have a code name or something? Like, like, you know, like GI Joe. Like, if you were, if you had a flamethrower on your back, your name was barbecue. You know, like, <laughs> like, like, if you had skis, your name wasn't Christmas Dan, tree. Dan, you have a rap about this, right? Uh, I guess. <laughs> GI Joe had really clear names. He never had to tell men from dames who just looked at their hat and that's what they were. If they were fat, their name was Raymond Burr. Perry Mason, fuck you. Jars of Cason, fuck you. I keep thinking about April and Pat. I fucked April and then I fucked Pat. Fuck Pat and made April watch. Are you listening, April? <laughs> Fucking April, you unsupportive wife. <laughs> April, listen to me, April. I do this shit for free, April. No one charges for it. Your husband came down here, and you thought he was going to have a bad time. He's sitting in the fucking VIP slut booth. Can we, can we, can we hear more about why she didn't... 
Why he, she didn't he, like it? He, he could get high licking that tabletop. That is, that's where Tim Allen sits when he comes down. Like, you know that if you ran your finger on the underside of that table and rubbed your gums, you, 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 you'd go in for dental surgery for half price. Like, it does, I, he is Tim. in the VIP booth, April, and you drove him here. You drove him away. If he comes home tonight, you're lucky. And it's because he's a Harmontown listener that he'll stay faithful to you, April. Because he's a nerd and he knows what it's like to be like me and Ryan, be unappreciated. Uh, and, 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 and so he's going he's gonna to have a moment of compassion as, uh, as all these fellow Harmontown fans. And there's a lot of good looking chicks out here in the audience tonight. And they're going to be all over. Uh, is, it, is it Kyle? I can't. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Dan, that, that is, that is a, an interesting phenomenon. I talked to a few people before the show who were either here with their partners or had come without them who had said, like, ah, I, I tried to get my girlfriend to come, but she wouldn't come, or I tried to get my boyfriend to come. What do you, wh where do you stand on that? Like, you and I no, no, of kind of like don't. the same things, but... I would absolutely, I think, I think it's a very supportive thing to say, go ahead, go to the show, but I'm not going to go because it's not my cup of tea. I think you're fine, April. Your mom, also, I think it's fine. <laughs> Let's let's call her who she is, Pat. I think I think she's amazing. Is there anyone in the audience who who has fallen in love over Harmontown? Yeah. Is anybody like uh, anybody? It's anybody? Wishful thinking. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the, the I think we have to do a couple more tours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's kind of fishing for something. You can't blame yourself for. Too soon. All right. So let's get back to April's mom, Pat. Uh, <laughs> so uh, where, where 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 is Pat from? Probably Missouri. Central Missouri. Central Missouri. Right in the middle of fucking the Death Star. That piece of shit state. Show me. More like, don't show me. I don't want to see it. Keep that fridge door closed, Missouri. How weird that your state is a barely mispronounced misery. What a coincidence. You sons of bitches. Dan, one of our closest friends is from Missouri. Who? Kimber. Uh, oh. Kimber Hall. All right, my, sorry, my, Kimber. Uh, my closest friend, my roommate. I'm just trying to get Lewis. these guys on my side. We're in no, it's it. fine. But you're uniting them uh, via hatred. I don't think they want that. They're smarter than that. Uh, play, 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 the, play the country song. I'm going to sing a country song about Missouri sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Boot, boot, lock, bang, bang. <laughs> a doop, doop, dop, deep, and dop, doop. Well, my name is John Missouri. I'm a shit eating son of a fucker. I went to my house and never home for supper. Cause I eat dogs and dirt and cigarettes. And I wear peanut butter for a hat. I'm a big, dumb, fucking asshole piece of shit. And I'm. My wife's name is Pat. Okay, I'm, is I'm, I'm Kyle's father. Good. Hold on, I'm sorry, I lost my place. Sorry, deep, dop, deep, dop, a doob, a dap, do. Here we go, second verse. Well, I'm Kyle's father. My wife's name is Pat. I gave birth to Kyle. My good effects stopped at that. Uh, I've never done anything good. I live in a pile of leaves. Yeah. I'm a big piece of fucking shit. I'm from Missouri. It's got no right to have half of Kansas City. Just leave your garbage on the lawn. I got three feet and half a hand. I got Russell Brand on the Tebow. Cause I like his style I'm a big piece of fucking motherfucking shit from Missouri I hate Missouri I oh, know I mean I love it and I'm a piece of shit sorry I got it. all right Woo! all right all right we can we can do anything together now <laughs> Almost time for D and D, but I I am so curious to hear from somebody who's a uh, from Missouri a hardcore Kansas loyal. Well, both. Is there, are you from Missouri? I sir? just want someone to okay, say go, what, we, what they hate about Missouri. No, 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 no. We got we have better. We have a Missouri. Are you willing to come up? Sure. Let's, Please, let's, no one kill him after. No, the show. no, nobody's gonna kill him. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is that a, where, where's it? I know Amanda's one of the servers. Where's a, did, is that you? Oh, okay, because you did, I, I have face blindness and you changed your hair before the show. Well, Amanda and the other servers, don't forget to tip them. I, I, sometimes, believe it or not, people forget to uh, do that. It also seems weird that, uh, that people would, would forget. Uh, you always hear people say, don't forget, so they must forget occasionally. I'm basing it on that alone. Um, hello, sir, what's your name? Uh, Darren. Darren, the human being from Missouri. He's a human being. How dare you? Boo him, don't you boo no. Actually, actually, the song Music. that you sang was, was fairly accurate. So. <laughs> See, he's a self-loathing, his, 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 his pulse beats. It's, it's Darren? Yeah, Darren. Darren, we have the same name. Why, why does everyone pick on, on Missouri? I don't know. Uh, I think it's because we have a better baseball team. <laughs> Is it the same thing in Missouri? Do you guys pick on Kansas? Yeah, well, yeah, we're on one side of Missouri, they're on the other side. What divides you? Is it a river? I mean, I, I, I know it's hatred, but I, what, is there a river between? What's that? A river of hate. A river of hate, okay. I thought you said river of paint. It was like, okay, wait, is there, is that like an industrial thing? Like there's, this fucker's from Missouri, they, they make paint and then they put it into the river. But sir, you, you tell, what, so it's a, it's a geologically, geographically, it's a river that separates the two parts of the, the city? Pretty much. Yeah. I don't understand why they're both the same city then. What, and I'm, they're, they, they're saying the same thing. What, what the hell happened? What, what is going on? I have no idea. I, I fail uh, geography. Uh, I'm the wrong person to ask about that. All right. Well, I don't, okay. I'm not going to get any answers here tonight. I, I, we should just stick with it. All right. Somebody's calling out something that's sports related. Hey, Aaron, let's oh, okay. do a. No, he's, he's, oh, no, no, it's okay. Thank you for coming out. He's oh, excusing geez. himself off the stage. Oh, Darren's excusing himself. Well, Dar Darren, did you. Wait, Darren. Darren, wait. We can't let you go right this away. Is, this is how uh, thick this conflict is. I want to know, I wanna know from Darren what his. What his, what his what, what is your, uh, can you tell us like a wish that you have, a big ambition or anything like that? I, uh, I wanted to hear a second season of the, the werewolf uh, teenager show. <laughs> <laughs> that we did in Charlotte, yeah. Uh, all right, well, be, beat that, you Missouri fucker. That's not going to make any sense. <laughs> what's what's uh, a personal wish of yours, besides Missouri and Kansas getting along? Besides fucking Pat, which all of us, we, we all want to do that. <laughs> Are you listening, April? <laughs> Yeah, I, I really, uh, I, I have done so. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm oh. really happy. Oh, oh, Darren, see, they're sticking Darren, up Darren, for Darren, you. Is there anyone, Darren, is there anyone who you love who has a dream? Libby Huey over there yeah, has what's, a dream. Yeah, what's her dream? <laughs> what's Libby's um, dream? I, I think she wants to be a musician. We, we've been dating for five years, and I, I literally know nothing about her. All right, okay. okay. All right, let's let, 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 let's thank Darren, and we're going to do it. We're going to do Darren. a quick movie for Darren. We're going we're gonna to create a movie for him. Aaron, I want you to play Libby Huey uh, in, in the Darren and Libby story uh, about, you, about two star-crossed lovers from different sides of Kansas City. Dan, I'd like you to play Darren. Thank you. Pling, 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 pling. Oh, God. A tale of two sides of the same city. <laughs> What's that sound from outside my shitty Missouri apartment? I'm gonna go out and check it out. Whoa, I almost fell in the river that's right outside my door. Oh. Excuse me, young lady. Oh, God! I'm sorry, I, 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 I'm just Darren. I was just in my apartment just wanting nothing. And uh, I, 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 I couldn't help but overhear this, this, this sound. What is, what's going on? I, uh, I, I'm playing the guitar. Oh, a musician? Right. Well, I want to be. I'd love to hear some more, but this damn river lies between us. <laughs> would, you, would you meet me at the bridge uh, where there's that, 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 that dinosaur uh, cafe? In Kansas City? Well, what if we met right in the middle of the bridge, you know, where neither of us were in either part of the city? All right, I... I can do that. Just don't speak too loudly or my family will kill me and cut out my brain. Okay. Three hours later. <laughs> uh, 
I, I'm not sure how the, the, the it works. That here we are in the middle of the bridge. Uh, um. Hey. I, I, I never touched a Kansas City girl's face. <laughs> I mean, a I Kansas girl's face. I always touch Kansas City girl. Right. We're both no, from Kansas I City. I, I don't know if you can. My, my family told me that if a Missourian ever touched my face, that my skin would melt and turn into an army of Nazis that would destroy the planet. Can I, I touch, touch you? <laughs> yes, I can, says. <laughs> Should. I feel you, yes, I should. Unsurly. When you smile, and I smile. When you laugh, and I laugh. Missouri, Kansas. This is the Sector 7 Police. You are in violation of the non miscegenation Treaty between Kansas and Missouri. Please stop interbreeding with that inferior Missouri woman and get back to your home. Or, or sit a Kansas person. I'm sorry, I'm a helicopter pilot. I get confused because I... I often cross between the things. Uh, 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 I'll explain later, but just so know that you guys are forbidden to do what you're doing. Run! Okay. Run! Okay. We have to go to Omaha. Oh. Go through this. Go through this sewer. It'll take us straight there. Oh, oh God. Oh shit, Omaha. Oh, oh. oh Where nothing. everything is mutual. <laughs> Well, That's kind of, I, I kind of set myself up there, didn't I? Hey, I should let you know now, I have five years in me. What does that mean? Look, there was a prophecy. I read it on a plate when I was 15 years old that said that I would meet a man from the other side of the river. We would start dating, and then we would stop after five years, and we would go to a comedy show, and then one of us would eat the other's face. <laughs> It, five years from now? It was a long plate. <laughs> yes, five, five years from now. Libby, I wouldn't eat your face. Really? But what if I ate your face? <laughs> what if, if I, I ate <laughs> your, your face? face? <laughs> Put your blood <laughs> out of <laughs> place. <laughs> Relationship anymore. Uh, do, 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 do. Open up in there. It's the International Omaha Police Department. <laughs> we know you're in there. We're intermingling with Kansas and Missouri people. We're coming in with our special futuristic Omaha battering rams. <laughs> Put them on laser setting. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't even know who this bitch is. I'm out of here. <laughs> 20 years later, in Kansas City Maximum Security Future Prison. <laughs> Libby, I've got good news. You're up for parole. Oh, you gave birth. I, uh, no, this is Sarah's. Here, it was. <laughs> Sarah has. No, I, I didn't give birth because I've, I've been without my one true love this whole time, but thanks for rubbing it in. Well, you've got a big awakening in for you. You know that in the time you've been incarcerated, the, the laws have changed. The river's <laughs> dried up. The laws can never change. There's no more Kansas river, Kansas and Missouri Libby. can never get a law. There's no more river. 
There's it's gone. No There's no more water. There's no more river. All the cities are united now. Uh, East and West uh, uh, New Hampshire. <laughs> Uh, uh, St. Louis and Minneapolis are, are the same thing now. It's called St. St. Uh, you geography genius, thank you for letting me know. I say go out there and go to that man that, that betrayed you and left you. Because it seems like an ending. Maybe right. not a good one. All but... right, I'm going to find him. You never close your eyes when I crawl through weeds and jump over fences. Ian? Yeah. D D Darren. Darren. Darren! I'm behind you! What? No one's behind or in front of anyone anymore. It's, it's post-Riverdom. I've Darren. been behind you the whole time. I went to prison, too. You did? I was your parole officer. Well, that's fucked up. Why didn't you say something? I didn't want you to get mad at me for taking a job at the place where you were imprisoned. I, I always knew that you loved me as someone who didn't want to do anything. I got you this guitar. It's made of shoes and... Shoes! Corn. I love shoes, so I'll forget everything you just said. I... Just want, want to, to have, have a, a happy, happy ending, ending in here together. Yes, 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 What a great movie. See, you guys understand, right? You get it. Yeah. Um, there was uh, Spencer, a, there, how did you feel about that? It was, uh, it was good, but uh, I liked your lyrics. <laughs> there was a deleted scene in that movie where uh, Kyle's wife's, April's mother's Pat <laughs> took like a million dicks in her face. <laughs> you hear that, April? <laughs> Your mother, your mother had to be cut out of the movie because it was too dirty when she was in it. Too no, many but be dicks. fair, she only took a million dicks because she already <laughs> has a million dicks. So she, they wanted, she wanted friends for her, uh, for her dicks already. The owner of the club was giving us the light and I, I, I automatically assumed it was like a camcorder. I was like, oh, that's a, we, 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 the show's going better. He's, he's, he's taping us. Um, I automatically assume it's time for Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons! And Dragons! All right, uh, when we last met our heroes. Jesus, are you okay? Yeah, you don't give me any time to set up beforehand. You just randomly cue me and start the music. Hey, do so. you see me dying up here, motherfucker? <laughs> well, you could have said something. We're fighting. You and I are fighting. You want to fight right now? Yeah! I don't think we should play Dungeons and Dragons. Whoa! Whoa! I'm sorry, Spencer. Now we've made up and we've atoned. There, my sense of story structure is uh, <laughs> appeased. That's it? That's all we need? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's all It's a shitty is. movie. Last time we met, our heroes had been journeying in the belly of the beast. The mysterious... No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's okay. it. Right. I think I've got to say should something. Should I keep going, guys? No, I, I have something to say. Yeah. Dan Harmon, Spencer Crittenden. I, uh, you know, Spencer and I have been doing merch this whole time. Yeah. And Spencer's been very thoughtful, and very kind, and very attentive. And what do you mean attentive? I just mean he's sensitive to the way I feel, and he really sees me. Like, he really sees, like, your crotch and stuff? <laughs> no, not yet. I mean, I just... What? I just... <laughs> this is crazy. I'm just saying he's, 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 he's very kind and, and uh, sensitive and, you know, you've, you've been a bit of a, a bully. And yeah. I think that, that maybe over the course of this trip, Spencer and I have become close. All right. Well, that's fine. Can I... We only have like six minutes left. Yeah. To okay. Just... All right. Sorry. Uh, pause. JK. All right. Here we go. I don't even know. You guys are in a fish. Alright. <laughs> Do you have our character sheets? You rejoined and entered a large cavity. After finding a mucusy spider slime and several spindly limbed lightning creatures, you defeated them. 
you were left in the lung. So that's where you guys are. Mm-hmm. Do you want characters right now? Should we just go? Like, we let's could just, just go. Let's just go freestyle. Yeah, All right. freestyle it. All right, if there's a spell I should cast, tell me. Okay. Wall of a thousand dicks. So what, what did you, well, That just sounds what, deadly. What, what did you say, Ian? Well, well, we thousand thousand dicks. Earlier, like you were talking about, like, uh, with Pat. Oh, yeah, Pat, yeah. In her, in if there face. were a thousand dicks involved, I was definitely talking about Pat. Yeah, April's yeah. mom, yeah. Pat and all the dicks. Like, how would Spencer react to that? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, honestly, now we have two minutes left. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> just go smoke a cigarette. You're, you're, you're killing us. No, no, don't really, don't really. Yeah, that's not. Uh, that's a, so he, you know, I quit. I quit eight years ago. I was smoking two packs a day. I don't even fucking think about it. I, I, I it's, it gets so. He easy. really doesn't. I've never seen it. It gets so easy. Close. Don't worry, worry about it. All right. If you recall, you killed those things. You're now in a lung, and you started. Uh, you, you set some smoke to make it cough. Right. Remember? Right. So now we're like, what? We're like almost out of the fish, or the what? lungs spasming. Right. All right. We wait. As the lung spasms, and spasms so violently it threatens to shake apart, you get the sensation that if you would only breach its membrane, it could be torn asunder very quickly. I owe you two left. I agree. <laughs> what did she, what did she say? No, I, oh. I just agree. You're just agreeing for that, yeah, because we don't have time to disagree. Yeah. What is Oh yeah. man, there's a very uh, pretty drunk girl. Very happy lady. Her. She's very enjoying nice. it. It's a good show. All right, yeah, she had a good time. Yeah. Nice time. Uh, stay, stick, stick around for all the comics that are going on next, <laughs> that are sitting next to you. That'd be great. Um, all right. The, uh, 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 we, we breach the membrane, whatever you said, that we get the sense we could do. Okay, well, uh, you, do you have a sword? You don't have a sword. You have a knife. I tell, I tell uh, Quark to uh, uh, do it with his far sword. All like right, I got this sword. Let me just slice through. He pulls out his sword and making a couple slices across the belly of the membrane that you guys are currently in. It slashes open and the smoke pours out. You feel the entire creature you're surrounded by give a violent shudder as if it was hurt or wounded. Yeah. And you feel yourself drop in the sky as if the entire thing had fell down a couple hundred yards before regaining traction. Oh shit. You've definitely done something, but it's not dead yet. Okay, well, probably good because we don't want to die with it. Ha uh, Oh, we don't want to die with that. Well, yeah, we don't want it to plummet to earth and explode with us in it. You know, we're giving like... a final violent shudder. The entire lung you're inside of falls apart, and you fall down about fifty feet until you land on a pillowy cushion back in the room you were in before. Oh, nice, convenient. It's like a video game. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, uh, can we see that vi- that village from here? The, the things. You can see you're in a green room. There's three holes. One of them you just came through. The right. other two you haven't been through. Back behind you is a small purple door that leads back towards the village. Right. All right. We got to go through each I of these. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I have to. <laughs> no, I mean, I the really don't want to pay you more attention because I have, have you, have like you taken acid favorite. tonight? Because this would be a trip. There is a woman in the audience who, who said, "Have you ever taken acid before?" Uh, I have. I've taken acid and mushrooms. I, I haven't, haven't done heroin or uh, 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 ayahuasca, but some, a, a fan gave us a jar of ayahuasca at, uh, at the show, and we should go take it now and, and the tour bus and, uh, <laughs> and finish this evening. Um, all right, we've, we've well, dropped 50 feet. Well, well not, not to, you guys have been great. You guys, thank you for coming to the show. No, you've been amazing. But it's it's 7:10. We got to be off the stage in five minutes, so I don't. We, we should we should we, let's just wrap up the Dungeons and Dragons. So you you decide. Fall, that you're gonna go I, I, I roll over. I roll over on top of Sharpie. Okay. Nice. Good. That's very nice, isn't it? All right, Spencer. Everybody, thank him for the wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Sometimes Dungeons and Dragons doesn't last that long. Hey, Dan. So, so this this show is uh, probably a, a pivotal pivotal. Yeah. Are you drunk too? Uh, super. Okay. Um, SCC singing sectionals. <laughs> is that, is that like a, is that is that your cheerleading troop or is that what are you <laughs> are you just cheering for a team of yours? <laughs> So she doesn't know you're okay, talking to okay, her. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, that's it, that's it. You're, you're, you're a fire hydrant that's fine, to her, that's fine, and that's vice fine. versa. Quite all right. Uh, it's Dan, t- it's this t- is a, this this is an important moment in the in your story circle. Right. This is this is what. The death. <laughs> Perhaps. 
<clears throat> do you want to queue but up? Maybe the, it requires some. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Right, right. Yeah. What if we learned in Kansas it. City? Ooh. Ian, take it easy. Just don't smoke. <laughs> Libby, keep loving your gross Missouri man. <laughs> and your gross misery man. Drunk lady, keep drinking. <laughs> I've seen a beautiful city. Its name was Kansas City. As soft and creamy as a titty for me. In, in misogyny town. And I'm sorry I, if I sucked. But really, who gives a fuck? Cause the, the room kind of looks like a place that you'd go to fill out a customer survey about crackers. <laughs> In a shopping mall <laughs> in Harmon Town. The poop is brown. I fucked your mama, I fucked her good. I fucked your mama and she turned to wood. I shaped her into a tree and her leaves touched the sky. And then I fucked her eye. And she went blind. And when she couldn't see, I told her about color, <laughs> and what I told her made her think twice. No more race. I fucked your mama and fixed her brain. <laughs> I fucked your mama in the rain. I fucked your mama down the street. I fucked your mama with my podcast meat. And every town that I go to now, I'm gonna tell them about your mama and fuck her like cows. It's not a reflection of who you are. You should all get a brand new car. You get a car, you get a car. You also get a car. Everybody that looks under their seat and finds gum gets a car. Just don't ask us about it. Ask the manager in the club and we'll be gone. We'll be on the front line. We'll be going till the break of dawn. If you bought stuff, I'll sign it over there. That's the way you go. Don't go down those stairs, because that's the next audience for the next show. They'll beat you up. I think we already know that my audience is nerds, and everyone out there is stronger and better and has more money for these booths in the front. And April, you're a cunt. <laughs> so, no, I just want to. But, 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 in, the, but in the British sense, in the British sense. They use that word. Okay. Yo. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Thank you for coming to yeah. Harmon Town. Yeah. You have all yeah. been great, mostly. It's been awesome. Yeah. You guys are wonderful. Yeah. Please say hi after yeah. the show. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck your mama, and I'll see you later. Fuck your mama like an alligator. Go <laughs> out the back and tip your weight staff. Uh, Fucked your mama so hard, she was a giraffe. I made her neck so long, she couldn't handle it. I fucked your mama like a candle got lit. Lit in the back, saying, get off the stage. You're giving us a heart attack. We gotta clean off the tables. Gotta get this shit out. Gotta go. Gotta fuck your mouth. It's here for Kyle and Kyle, everybody. Tim. Ryan for doing his Tim. Tim, yeah. Tim. Everybody! Tim, yeah. Come on down the hall. Ian for quitting smoking. Libby and Darren. Come on down the hall. Yo, you gotta settle your bills. You gotta eat all your hot wings. I hope you got your fill. I thank Aaron McGathy and Spencer the DM. I fucked your mama so hard she stopped peeing. I gave her a UTI, jammed her up, fucked your mama so hard she turned into a Labrador pup. Changed her, changed her fur, changed her face, changed her species, changed her race. Um, see you in back. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming. God bless you.